Blake, thank you. After a year off, the Michigan International Auto Show is once again back in Grand Rapids. Oh yeah, the show brings in some of the coolest new vehicles and technology across the auto industry. 13 on your side's Joshua Vinson, live at DeVos Place. Josh, what's your favorite vehicle so far? So far, Jay, I love classics, and this is a nice electric classic. Do you see that? Wow, when you come down here to the auto show, you can also visit the car museum. And to tell us a little bit about that, I'm joined with Jay. Jay, good morning, how's good it going? Good morning, it's fantastic morning to be out here today. It is, tell us about this classic car that you're in. Like this looks nice, and it's electric. It's electric, it's a 1903 Columbia. Columbia was known for making bicycles. This is a 1903 Columbia electric. It's uh, basically a, a carriage with an electric motor underneath it. It's even got leather fenders, whole works. There's only three of these known to exist. We have one, the Smithsonian has one, and there's one in the uh, Great Britain area. And tell me, so if someone come down here to the International Auto Show, they can actually get in one of these vintage cars and ride around? We, we'll hop, let them get in, we'll give them a ride. And we're gonna do that at the top of the hour. So. As there's a handful of people here, we'll give them a ride as time allows. And you come from the Gilmore Car Show. Can you tell us, I mean, uh, Car Museum, can you kind of tell us a little bit about the Car Museum? Sure. We've been uh, open to the public since 1966. We're the North America's largest car museum. We have, uh, we display about 400 cars at any one time, but we've got a little uh, close to 600 in the collection, always growing. And what we brought this time are all cars that are recent donations, things that people have given us. So the car you were in just a few minutes ago, 1931 mm -hmm. Marmon very very rare car that car could outrun the Duesenberg in fact it's the car Marmon won the very first Indy 500 in 1911 and they invented the rear view mirror so every time you look at traffic behind you yeah you can think of Marmon and we have one up here pretty rare car that is awesome thank you so much and again guys all of this information about the International Auto Show is on our website 13 on your side.com if you want to come out you can come out at 11 o'clock today and again I got all that ticket information in the story that's been our reporting live here in Grand Rapids Joshua Vincent 13 on your side guys this is this is nice this is nice that's you can't, you can't beat cool. that Josh, it, uh, it literally took my breath away yeah. when Jay came driving up in that a vehicle that's more than 100 years old. Yeah. Such a cool opportunity for people to come out this weekend yes. and see something like that. Good stuff.